Hi there, I'm Curious Carly here at the Van Build. It's the 2018 Van Build party, and I'm here with Meek. Meek, and he has his Van Veronica, and we were just wondering, Meek, how did you get into the van life? So it's funny because in the East Coast, van life is not really a common thing, and um, I was uh, working as a sales manager, and the team that I was uh, promoting was kind of an annoying team, and I was dedicating about 18 hours of my day every single day to my job, and it wow. got to be overwhelming, and I finally decided that it's just not what I wanted to do anymore, and I had some money saved up, and one day it just came over me, and I quit my job. Mm -hmm. I bought Veronica, I built her out, and here I am. Nice. Well, that's such an inspiring story. And I would love to look at Veronica. Did you build her out yourself? Yes, I did. All right, let's so look I'm inside. So I'm like super proud of this stuff that I've done to her. And again, this is my first time ever doing it. And when I first did it, I didn't have any ideas from anywhere else. Like this was, I thought was my own idea at that time. Oh yeah, you know? no, of course. That's a little you bit You gotta messy. start wherever you can. So I see you've got Atticus here. How yep. is it traveling with a new puppy? Um, it's been great, honestly. Like van life was kind of incomplete without him. I just didn't know that. Before I got him, I was debating in my head, like, is it feasible to have a dog in such a small space, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I thought it over, I thought it over, and I finally decided, you know what? We can pull it off. And um, when I seen Atticus, Aww. I just had to, I had to get him. So yeah. it's been great. I feel like um, he gets to live more like a, a dog is supposed to with the van life. He gets a lot more socialization with other people and animals, for example, so he knows how to behave better. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I think it's definitely, you know, Worth a lot it. better, yeah. Okay, great. And so you did your build out yourself. Sure. It looks like your table probably collapses. Um, my table pops up. Oh, nice. And that way I can get access to my refrigerator in the bottom. And do you have some solar on top to run that fridge? I have no solar at all, actually. I'm using my alternator okay. to charge my two deep cycles. I used to have a, um, a battery isolator. Okay. And the battery isolator automatically, so when you turn it on, mm -hmm. it'll start charging. You turn it off, it'll stop. Yeah. But my isolator had gotten broke, and so I went to um, AutoZone, and I found the little shut-off switch. Uh -huh. And so now I just shut it off and on myself, and that's okay. how it charges it up. Okay, cool. um, I have two deep cycles underneath here, and then my inverter. Nice. And um, you did all that yourself? Everything. I used to be an electrician. I was an electrician for about 12 years, so nice. putting it all together was really easy. I just Googled a bunch of stuff and figured it all out, but yeah. And it made sense to you. That's great. Right. Um, I built the bed. Ow. After I was done building the bed, for example, I realized that if I cut a little slit right here and put some hinges, I can have an extra storage space. So, voila, I did yeah. that. Nice. Um, what else? up there so this is a pretty cool idea that other people may be able to use this thing right here it used to have those little small inconvenient spaces like this one yes so what i did was took this whole face off and applied hinges so it drops down and just emptied out all that stuff so now i have all my pans in That's this awesome. top area and it's just more storage because a small area you know storage space is everything so yeah that was real convenient for me That's awesome. What's uh, in here? And which one? Oh, that the table comes down. Oh, that's the table. That the table comes down. Also, I put this seat backwards, so um, what I like to do is, uh, if I have a nice view, I'll face my van in that direction with the doors open. Like so. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's a message here. But, and that way, the view would be this way, and I could just sit down, enjoy a coffee. Atticus can run and play freely. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, nice. Underneath here, I also put a little drawer for my clothes and laundry detergent and stuff like that, obviously. Great. Um, on this side is my camping stuff, like my hammock and my chairs. And on this side is like uh, my tools, like my sawzall and all that stuff. So you're a handyman, that's great. I try to be, I appreciate it, thank you. Yes. <laughs> and your art, tell me about your art. So I was at Hayton Ashbury, uh, Hayton Ashbury in um, San Francisco. Okay. And uh, there's this little stand, it's like the coolest looking thing, man. It's like really small, um, they built it out themselves and a couple of artists display all of their amazing artwork. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, if you go there, you can get one for 10 or three for 20. I chose three for 20 and those are the ones that I picked. That's beautiful. I really like those choices. Thank you. And I saw 
saw that your bench is also like a speaker. So you Oh yeah. yeah show yeah. me what that's about. Sure. So it took me a long time to figure out where the appropriate spot for this was gonna be. But before it did not have the cushions on it. And um, so I put it here one day and I realized I could sit on it. So when I realized I could sit on it, I decided to put the cushions on it. Mm -hmm. And I did that. Nice. And now it's my Sony. Uh, it's portable. It's um, Bluetooth, uh, chargeable. Nice. And so you rock out. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Um, also, while I'm sitting over here enjoying my coffee with the view, yes. I put my feet up. Oh, that's <laughs> Ever good. so comfortably like an ottoman too. Everything's got two, two Everything things. has a double purpose in my van. And so tell me about your cooking situation. My cooking situation is awesome. Super convenient, I yeah. think. You got um, the little propane. So when I first did the van build, I, for some reason, decided to get a 40-inch TV in here. <laughs> really not minimalistic at all, I know. But um, once I realized that it wasn't too efficient because I'm using too much of my battery and everything else, I took that out and I realized I have a whole new world of space here. And so I bought the, um, the dual burner propane mm -hmm. stove with the little propane tank right there yeah um i keep my uh cooking stuff all up top there yeah and i use this this dawn and water oh. and this is how i wash my dishes after i'm done eating oh. i'll pour it in there let it soak rinse nice. it out and repeat so that's a great way of doing it Good. And how much water do you usually carry with you? Um, I always carry backups. Like behind you is what me and my dog. Oh, okay. So you do drink. the, the and then bottled I have water. Distilled water for when I make coffee and stuff like that as well. Nice. And I have um, two, I have like two of these underneath my bed right now. Okay. I have two of these, and I also have two extra propanes for just in case as well. Cool. I'm new to the whole van life thing, so I'm trying to like now. Uh, stay in one spot for longer and make everything last longer and get used to that whole minimalistic lifestyle type thing You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's where I'm working on now. Awesome. Well, it looks like you're figuring it out and learning Appreciate as you go. It. Yeah. Well, good. Thank you so much for this interview. My pleasure. Thank and you for having me. If we wanted to send people to talk to you about your van, where sure. would we send them? So I'm, I'm new to all of this, so I just started a, a Facebook page so far. I'm going to start a channel, but until then, my Facebook page is um, www.facebook.com okay. forward slash guy and his van. Guy and his van. Okay. Cool. We'll look that up. All right, great. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.